is Iram here with another session of Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I am sharing 5 cards with you and I'll be watercoloring the backgrounds using different watercoloring techniques. I will be using the new uh, Altini watercolor brush markers, the Winter Wonderland set. And uh, the colors are in this are brilliant, they're bold and so vibrant. I love these uh, watercolor brush markers and they're truly intense and very gorgeous. For my first card, I'll be using Lagoon, Emerald and Persian Blue. I have already stamped uh, several panels of watercolor cardstock um, with the stamp from the world map uh, stamp set. For this panel, I used uh, the antique gold embossing powder to heat emboss the pattern. I did a bit of repetitive stamping uh, to make a background pattern of the world map image. And this is a gorgeous gold. It, it looks really pretty in person. I will try my best to use the watercolor brush markers differently for each panel. But uh, all the panels will have the same uh, stamp set. So it's not going to be very different, but uh, I will try my best to use different colors. For the first uh, one, I will use the watercolor um, markers directly and scribble them onto the panel starting with emerald and then Persian blue. I will press the marker, um, the barrel of the marker ever so slightly in some places so that um, I get a more concentrated pool of color. In the end, I will fill in the places with a Lagoon watercolor brush marker. It does look uh, very messy, but uh, I will spray this panel with water very, very generously so uh, that all the harsh lines vanish into this gorgeous mix of colors. I will take a regular paint brush to add color to the areas that are still white or um, need a little bit more color. And uh, I will also use the watercolor brush markers directly if I think I need a more concentrated color. I'll use a heat gun on this to dry um, slightly in some places, a little more than others. I did this for a reason because when the watercolor splatters that I'm adding will fall on the wet areas, they will react with the background and make this cool marbling pattern. And where it's dry, the splatters will just act like splatters do and add a little more texture. To add the color splatters, I will take out a bit of uh, the watercolor ink by squeezing the barrel onto this very helpful watercolor palette, which you must have noticed I placed later on after my whole space was covered with water. Anyway, I will add splatters of all the colors. I will sop up some of the extra water, but not uh, that much. You will see that my panel dries while I'm still working on it. And thus my splatters become more visible, increasing the grungy texture. But I will use a heat gun, dry the panel a bit more, and then add clear, clean water splatters. I will let this sit for a few seconds and then use a tissue to sop it up. Uh, these watercolors react with water beautifully and it, I'm sure you can see it yourself. Just love all that uh, texture. Now to turn this into a card, I thought I'd uh, just add a banner style sentiment label on the top left. I will prep uh, this with the anti-static powder bag, then heat emboss hello friend sentiment with antique gold embossing powder. I wanted to add a fishtail cut uh, on one end of the sentiment label, so I scored a little line to get uh, the center perfect. This looked like it was missing something, uh, so I took out my ever favorite golden glitter tape, adhered it to a piece of cardstock so that it would cut properly uh, from uh, with the trimmer. Uh, it did cut uh, uh, properly, but not straight um, because my a tri trimmer is another thing I need to change, but since I just need a small portion of the strip, hopefully it won't be uh, that noticeable. I'll adhere this strip on the uh, top, leaving a little space. I will adhere the panel with foam tape, and uh, you can see I'm struggling to get the backing off because my thumbnail broke, and but I managed. Uh, 
I still um, I don't like the look of the card it looks very incomplete so I decided to add um, a little bit of gold string and I then adhered my black sentiment label over it this gold um, string it uh, really made all the difference and this was uh, what was uh, missing it just brought everything uh, together my first card is done and I will add a few gold confetti on this and uh, also this tiny little gold foil heart that I die cut from this um, hearts and stars die that comes in the new day card kit it's so helpful that little die uh, one of my favorites my second panel has colored heat embossing on it this one is Caribbean sky embossing powder this ends up looking really subtle you can uh, definitely use this as a background stamping if you want a subtle look I will start coloring this panel the same way uh, I did the first one with Persian blue water uh, color brush marker but then I will use the watercolor that I already squeezed out on the palette uh, which I will apply with the help of a water brush keep squeezing the barrel of the water brush so that it's uh, easier to move, around, move the color around cover the entire panel and do not worry about the color getting diluted Next, I will take the Lagoon watercolor brush marker and apply color directly onto the wet panel in some places. I will use the water brush to spread this around and add more of the Persian blue if needed. But uh, for this panel, it's the watercolor brush that I'm using to mix the color instead of a uh, water spray. I will dry this with my heat gun and then add water splatters on the panel. No color splatters for this one just water splatters after drying the panel uh, let the water water sit uh, for a few seconds and use a tissue to soak up the water drops to make my card i decided i will add a few colored strips of for interest i wanted the strips to match the watercolor panel so instead of using colored cardstock I decided to use the coordinating artist markers and color a portion of cardstock to cut the strips from. You can see I already have one portion colored and that is just Caribbean Sky artist marker. It looked just okay next to the watercolored panel. So I took Persian blue and uh, roughly colored areas of the cardstock with it. Then I blended everything with a Caribbean Sky artist marker. I know it looks messy right now but uh, in strips form it will actually look very interesting. Here are both the strips together. The ones on the right are one color that is the Caribbean Sky Artist Marker and the ones on the left are done with two shades the Caribbean Sky and the Persian Blue Artist Marker. I will place these below the watercolor panel to get an idea where to glue them. I will use a charcoal suit uh, dye ink to stamp my sentiment. This works well with the blue colors. To finish off, I just did a um, tiny little crystal heart next to the sentiment. I do think I've added a couple of extra strips. Three would have been enough. Uh, but um, Thankfully, it is not as broad as the watercolor panel or it would have looked really uh, odd. But um, it's uh, it's working right now. For the next panel, I have already spritzed the panel with water and now I'll start by applying Rouge um, watercolor brush marker. You will see right away the weirdly awesome vein like patterns. They look really cool. Would work very well on Halloween cards too. Um, by the way, the embossing on this is copper. It's so gorgeous. I will um, also hold my panel at an angle so that the watercolor falls in a dripping style. It, it looks really nice. The last color that I will add is Citrus Burst. And the reddish uh, color that I'm adding is Ruby Red. And I thought um, it I needed a little bit more of Rouge. So I went in again to add a bit more pink to the mix of colors. Now to um, mix all these uh, colors together, what I will do uh, with this panel is I'll add a few water splatters big water splatters and I did this to get rid of the vein like watercolors look not completely get rid of but uh, reduce the harshness and make it look softer 
Okay, so after this was dry, I decided to create two cards out of this panel. The first one is super simple. I will use one of the dies from the Half Tone Hearts die set and die cut a heart out of this panel. I placed my heart die in a way that um, India and Pakistan would uh, show on my heart since I plan to send this to one of my friends in India. The background looks a little uh, too plain so I decided to ink it up a bit by blending anti and Distress ink and making it a bit warmer. I'm using the smaller size uh, watercolor palette for the ink blending since it's smooth and the blending becomes quite easy. After I placed the heart, I, I felt if something was missing. So I first stemmed the sentiment and um, with the help of Altenew glue tape, I added a bit of gold string. Then I adhered the heart over it with the help of foam tape. It is bothering me a little as to why I didn't add black splatters to this card, but it's alright. Sometimes you gotta make clean looking cards. For the second card with the same panel, I decided to add some score lines to my card front for interest and uh, much needed texture. Um, please excuse my dirty scoreboard. I swear I washed it, but it is super loved. Everything I own is like that, a little raggedy. Um, even the black mat I'm working on has bumps and whatnot. Uh, that's why my hand drawn lines are never straight. So after I added uh, some lines, I'll stamp my sentiment. Again, the card will be uh, quite simple. This time I'm stamping sending thanks because it's broad and works well with this uh, card layout. Well, I um, messed that up, uh, no problem. I stamped the sentiment again on a thin strip of um, cardstock. It's the same cardstock as my card front and I glued this down to cover that mess I made. I just told you that my mat has bumps and I forgot to use that soft mat that I often place while stamping. To finish, I'll adhere the watercolor panel onto the card front which I first mount mounted on a mat to give it a framed look. Now, uh, this one can go to one of my crafter friends in the US or Canada. I like the look of this. The score lines look really cool and that copper embossing powder works very well with these um, colors of the watercolor brush markers. My last panel has platinum embossing on it. I'm going to start adding color directly onto the panel by uh, stripping espresso watercolor brush marker. I'll make sure to cover the entire portion uh, with this uh, marker, leaving just a little bit uh, of a border. I will then go around um, the espresso watercolor uh, area with the jet black watercolor brush marker and I'll make sure to touch the espresso, um, the still wet espresso watercolor area so that the colors mix and react. To add a bit more interest, I'll go back in with espresso brush marker and go over the area where the two colors meet. This will help uh, blend the two colors and you will notice I will also add the color while holding the panel at an angle. This will result in getting a little bit of the black color into the espresso area. I've cut this to the width of my card front. I'll mount this on black cardstock that is slightly larger than the watercolored panel. I'll then place uh, this on the card front and uh, then stamp the sentiment. After stamping the sentiment, I'll adhere the panel. And to finish off, I placed a tiny die cut heart next to the sentiment and I am done. I hope you liked my cards. The new watercolor brush markers are gorgeous, aren't they? Thank you for watching everyone. And for the comments, I read them all. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye.